What's up everyone? Welcome back to Light Source Engraving. If you're a return viewer, if you're a first time viewer, my name is Patrick. I'm your host as usual. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I'm thinking the reason you're here today is to turn this into this. And I'm here to help you out with that. We're just gonna go through three files for the three different PMAG engravings that I just showed there. And I'm going to go through the settings quickly. What you're going to have to do is write the settings down and then reconcile those with the layers on the actual PMAG. So you might have to pause and grab a screenshot and rewind and take some notes. But you will have all the settings for these collars available to you soon. Now let's start off by saying this is for my 60 watt JPT with a 200 millimeter lens. That's what all these settings apply to. They've been tested with. They should translate over to a 50 watt Rakus or JPT fairly well. I've used the settings with the 50 watt Rakus and they are very similar. So you will be in the ballpark. If you have a 30 watt or an 80 watt or whatever watt, you're going to have to adjust the power accordingly to make that transition. And then that should get you in the ballpark, but as always, you have to burn to learn in order to get the exact settings for your laser, your machine, your lens. So just keep in mind, they might not translate directly to your laser, but you will be in the ballpark, which is something I'll mention later. You could also end up with these graphics as well if you want the exact graphics. So that's enough of that. Let's just get into Lightburn and start walking through these files real quick. So the first file I have has the serpent and the rifle. And at the bottom, we have Numbers 21.9, which is a verse from the Bible where a serpent is involved. So this is a dual meaning graphic I came up with. Uh, my wife helped me with the inspiration for this one as well, so I do appreciate her input there. But I have seven different layers of settings. And as you can see, this will be for the numbers text. We have the blue, then we have the highlights, then this layer, this one, this one, and finally that one. So these settings can be very similar. Um, one thing to keep in mind when engraving P mags is sometimes you'll get a good setting and then if you just run it another one pass or two passes or even six passes, it can lighten it up. So if you get a good shade of gray and you want it lighter, you might be able to run a second and third pass to create the different shades. All right, now each one of these files does have a toolpath PMAG outline, so you can use that for framing. And then what I'm going to do is just pop up the settings, put on some music, and you can pause and take some notes.
Okay, now let's just run this one on the laser and you can see how it turns out. And you will notice on some of these settings, it does have uh, what I call them. That might help you out. All right, now we're on to PMAG number two. Again, I have multiple layers. Some will have the names of the settings here. Right, and now let's run this on the laser and you can see how it turns out.
All right, and here we have our last file, and it has even more layers, so let's run through those real quick. Now on to the last PMAG. And there you have it, folks. Sorry for the little bit of noise in the background. But there's all three P mags. Now, if you want the files for these and you don't want to spend time writing things down and trying to figure out what's what, I do have these for sale on my website, either in the three pack for all three files or individually. Each of these, as you notice in those settings, are at a 200 Q pulse, so they'll work for just about any laser source out there. You just have to convert your power, and that is it. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much to my patrons for allowing me to purchase these magazines for all this testing. I really appreciate it. Also, my patrons, you guys got these files for free. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. 
I also appreciate everyone watching this video and everyone that likes and subscribes. Each and every one of you, I appreciate so much. I just thank you all. And that's it for today. Everyone, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.